What's up, everybody? This is Dante Kennedy. Um, I wanted to talk to you all quickly about something that I've been personally dealing with 2024 in regards to a very, very interesting word called grief. I lost a very, very close family member to me. My cousin Gretchen, she passed away in March from cancer. I was unable to attend the service because I was here in Dubai and wasn't able to get home. She passed away in March. I traveled home in April. Uh, for my son's birthday, his birthday is April 29th. My father's birthday is April 25th. I get home the 24th. I text my dad, happy birthday, 4 a.m. on April 25th. I'm jet lagged, so I'm wide awake. He responds, he calls me back. Uh, Dante, get to Miss G's house. My sister, her mother, well, I was rushed to the hospital. Mom G, she passed away that morning. I wasn't home 24 hours before I was dealing with the second death within a 30 day period. She passed away on my father's birthday. So fast forward to June, my uncle Willie was able to speak with him in May to do FaceTime call before I started the show uh, here in Dubai. And then seven days later, he died. I fly home for my daughter's birthday. Her birthday's July 1st. Upon me getting home, I received news that a friend of mine in Florida uh, passed away in a car crash. I'm in Philly. I'm getting ready to leave Philly to go back to Dubai, July 3rd or 4th, something like that. Two guys went into my cousin's store and shot and killed him and tried to, you know, robbing him in Philly. Let's fast forward to now September. I'm like, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to go home, but this is gonna be a perfect trip. <laughs> Nobody passes away. I'm home about five, six days, celebrating my birthday. A friend of mine, Joe Brown, hits me up. Yo, happy birthday. Three days later, he passed away on the 27th of September. A few days after that, after church on Sunday, watching the Eagles game, my mom gets a message. I'm like, Lord Jesus, I already know her face. She went outside and she cried immediately. I was like, come on. Like, I just knew uh, my cousin Marlon uh, passed away in a car accident. Let, let me just explain that that is like equivalent to a person a month in 2024. So when people look at me and they think about what I'm going through emotionally, how I'm able to deal with being away and being away from family um, so long is, man, is disheartening. It is low-key traumatizing sometimes because I find myself in these moments not being able to fully grieve I'm my cousin Gretchen. Because <sighs> it's like back to back. Y'all not about to see me crying over here. It's like back to back. Just sometimes it's difficult to process one person who's close to you or somebody in your family. But when it's just consistent on top of just being away from the family, period. Like, I am a family man. And I'm grateful for the people who I have here in the Middle East who truly care about me, who I've been able to build relationships with since 2018. Like, you guys are incredible. I truly, truly appreciate my band and everybody who I'm connected to here. But sometimes, I mean, you just feel like, 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 what is the point? The point can be understanding that your purpose is much bigger than you, much bigger than what you're going through. But when you have those alone factors, that is what can really, really, really get to you when you're on a mission of purpose and God just puts you in a different realm that you wasn't even expecting. You find yourself just in situations, putting out fires of things that you didn't even start. It's all for the betterment of the purpose of who we are, who we are becoming, how stronger we can get in the trials and tribulations of things that are thrown at us. And I firmly believe that I am here for a reason, but sometimes the reason can be very, very heavy. It can be full of so much weight that to delegate that you can't, you can't just delegate everything. Some things are just that personal.
that all we could do is is provide some sort of meditation, prayer, devotion, reading, therapy, journaling, whatever it may be to try to make ourselves feel better for what we are going through. Me being here for the duration that I've been here, it's a blessing. It is, and I'm very, very grateful for what I have been able to accomplish here with the leadership and the, the way God has made. I know better is coming. However, I do understand that dealing with grief so far away from, from your intermediate family can be very, very difficult. So I want to encourage you all who are dealing with all the wars and watching your family perish or watching whatever it is like it could really really mess you up but i'm praying for you guys pray for me i am on a mission to save the world and i have good intentions and i promise i'm gonna do the best that i can love y'all y'all stay blessed peace